Good afternoon. In case you are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be studying SCP-6899. There isn't any objectionable material in this document. Well, unless you don't like splinters. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-6899, Classification Level 2, Restricted. Containment Class, Euclid. Disruption Class, Dark. Risk Class, Caution. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6899 is housed in the Minimum Security Containment Wing of Site-17. At the onset of an Alpha event, SCP-6899 is to be moved into the examination suite adjacent to their containment cell and medical staff are to be notified. This medical suite is to maintain a supply of 2 liters of type O negative blood in order to triage Alpha events. Description SCP-6899 is an adult human male named Trent McAfee, age 31. On an approximate 96-hour schedule, SCP-6899 begins an alpha event wherein they manifest and begin extruding a wooden splinter. These splinters have so far ranged in size from as small as 18 to as long as 45 centimeters, and have demonstrated properties identical to a species of white oak common to the Ohio River Valley. Extruded splinters have not exhibited any anomalous properties, and have been catalogued as instances of SCP-6899-1. During Alpha events, SCP-6899 experiences periods of extreme physical duress characterized by a heart rate in excess of 140 beats per minute, blood pressure in excess of 150 over 90, profuse sweating, severe dystonia, and an apparent immunity to all sedatives and tranquilizers. When not undergoing an Alpha event, SCP-6899 does not demonstrate any anomalous qualities. After thorough psychiatric evaluation, the subject has been either unwilling or is unable to provide any speculation or detail as to the specifics of their condition or its origins. To date, SCP-6899 has proven resilient against standard nestic treatments, as well as both hynagogic and regression therapies. File Update During a routine inventory of non-anomalous items, the total volume of SCP-6899-1 objects was catalogued and photographed. When presented with this information, the senior researcher assigned to SCP-6899 noted a correlation between the splinters, and began an effort to recombine the components. This has resulted in the partial reconstruction, approximately 40%, of the frame of a child's crib. When confronted with this information, SCP-6899 has provided no comment. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.